It is Friday and that means we are in full on pep rally mode. We were at Downers Grove South for our school spotlight this week. Our Jackie Kostek joining us live from the school. Good morning, Jackie. We saw dancers. We've seen all kinds of stuff this morning. What do you have this time? Yeah, Adrina, we started with the marching band around 645 this morning, and then we hung out with uh, the uh, orchestras dance groups. So we saw Bollywood dancers and hip hop dancers. And now we're talking about the adaptive PE program here at Downers Grove South. We're in the gym. I'm here with uh, Mar uh, Adam Peterson, correct? Yep. I do. <laughs> Good morning to you. OK, so let's talk about what we're looking at right now, because class is actually sort of in session right now. Yeah, absolutely. So we're doing an activity called Dash for Cash which is something we uh, kind of created to have every lap the students complete, they get a dollar and then they get to buy their choice of activity for a, like about 30 seconds to a minute. And then once we're done with that activity, then they're going back to, back to the grind, back to walking, earning some money to uh, pick a different activity. I love it. What is adaptive PE all about for folks who are sitting at home and they're not quite sure what this means? Right, adaptive PE is going to be more for students that need a little bit more help in the physical education setting to complete activities and just kind of complete the same units and activities that they do in the Gen Ed PE class. We try to mirror what they do in the rest of the classes, but just with a little more help from our peer buddies. And the main focus is our peer buddies kind of interacting with and building relationships with the students with disabilities. Phenomenal. Uh, we've met some of these incredible PE leaders this morning. I'm here with Shania. Shania, tell me what the experience has been like to be a part of this adaptive PE, because I know the program, it's, it's pretty competitive to get into. Yeah, so the adaptive PE program is much different than a typical PE class. Normally with that class, there's two to three leaders for almost 40 students, and in this class, there's a two to one ratio. And it's built that way because every student has their own needs that need to be met and their own ability levels. So that's why the program, the training program, was super helpful because they taught us how to be super creative and quick thinking so now whenever we're doing an activity we know how to adapt it to each student individually and it's really amazing it is amazing uh madeline this experience has been so important to you that you're actually going to pursue a special education degree in undergrad um what has this meant to you so this is just really like great for me i get so much experience um, a special education degree is from K through 12, so I could be working with kids these, this age once I graduate. So this is just a really great opportunity to kind of get to know different ability levels and learn how to work with people with different needs. Amazing. Uh, let's talk to Amelia real quick. We only have about 30 seconds. Can you tell us about this Unified program? I know you have a special week coming up called Respect Week. So Unified is an all-inclusive club where we socialize after school with students with special needs. And upcoming March 18th to the 22nd, we have Respect Week, which where we will be raising money for Special Olympics using a polar plunge during our lunch period. You got to love a polar plunge as a, uh, a fundraiser for Special Olympics. So it's not just uh, in school, in during class that they're really uh, living out that motto, you belong here, but it's after school too. I'm gonna show off something that we've learned really quick. So where are my friends? Let's see, we've got Elizabeth, here's Nick. So I'm getting involved and you know my favorite sport is football. And so I'm playing Justin Fields, Nick is DJ Moore, and then my friend Elizabeth over here is Darnell Mooney. Okay, so Elizabeth, um, I'm gonna throw the ball. You're gonna go deep, are you ready? Yes. Go deep for us. I'm Justin Fields, ready? Okay, Elizabeth, you're gonna catch it on, oh, my arm's not as good as yours, but let's go. Oh, I, that was a terrible throw. That was a, okay, but now she's gonna be Justin Fields. Oh, yeah, almost. Okay, Nick, it's your turn to throw the ball. Your turn to throw the ball. Okay, Nick's gonna throw it. You catch it, amazing. Now. You, this is how it all happens. Uh, my skills not so good. Elizabeth and Nick's skills pretty darn good. We have been having so much fun out here at Downers Grove South. We're going to wrap up next hour back in the Performing Arts Center. So, Audrina, Brad, back to you guys. All right, Jackie, thank you so much. Just, I mean, I, I did see the spiral going on there. Just got to get a little height on that ball. Thank you.